What's going on, music makers? It's your boy, Fly Guy J, and I'm back with another video. Now, on today's episode of Wavy Wednesdays, I'll be showing you guys how to use a classic vocal compression technique using two different type of compressors. The first compressor that we'll be using is the Wave CLA-76 compressor, and we'll be using this for dynamic compression, trying to tame some of the sharpest peaks and transients in our audio signal. And the second compressor we'll be using is the Waves CLA-2A compressor, and we'll be using this for some tonal compression just to smooth out the overall sound after we've gone ahead and tamed those peaks. Now, before I get into this tutorial, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notifications of future videos. And if you're interested in learning more about how to mix vocals, feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I have the same session pulled up from the last tutorial I did where I showed you guys how to use the F6 RTA to do some subtractive EQing. The only thing that I've done since then is I've gone ahead and added a basic Waves deesser plugin. I'm using the Mal S preset, and I decreased the threshold until I got about three to six decibels of attenuation. I'm not going to go over a full overview of this plugin today, but if you guys are interested, feel free to drop a comment and let me know and perhaps I'll review this plugin in a later video. Again, this song is called Pull Up by an artist named Hookman Q. It's currently unreleased, but when the song drops, I'll update the description with a link where you guys can go ahead and check out the full mixed version of this song. So right now on this screen, you can see the yellow waveform is the two track instrumental that was sent to me. And this pink waveform is the lead vocal for the hook that was also sent to me. So far I've tuned the vocals using auto-tune. We've done some subtractive EQ using the Waves F6 plugin to take out some of the frequencies that were muddying up our vocals. And we've done some de using the Waves de plugin. And now we're gonna use a double compressor stack to even out our vocals. The first compressor that we'll use is the Waves CLA-76 compressor. And since our audio file was sent over in mono, we'll be using the mono version of the plugin. So our goal with this compressor is to use it for dynamic compression. We wanna set this compressor so that we're only catching the sharpest peaks of the vocal performance and we're not compressing the quieter parts. This will help us even out the vocal performance, tame some of those transients and make the vocals a little less dynamic. For this task, you definitely wanna make sure you're using a FET style compressor this type of compressor tends to have a very fast attack and release setting, which allows you to clamp down on transients quickly and then release the compressor so that you're not affecting the rest of the signal. So before I go over all of the compressor controls, let's bypass this plugin and play back the hook so you can hear how it sounds before we start doing the compression. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes on line. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. All right, now let's go over the controls and then we'll start tweaking this compressor so that we can accomplish the task of compressing only the peaks and leaving the rest of the signal unaffected. All right, so there's two different versions of the CLA 76 compressor. You have the option to choose either the Blackie, which comes up as the default compressor or you can change over to the bluey which has a different tone and color to the compression the bluey is a little more aggressive and it adds more harmonics to the signal which leads to a brighter sounding vocal the blacky is less aggressive and has more of a darker sound the next thing we'll talk about are these analog options down at the bottom i usually keep the analog off if you listen closely when these buttons are engaged you'll hear a faint humming or hissing noise and this is emulating the circuitry noise that would actually be generated if you're using the analog hardware versions of these compressors. This input control knob controls the amount of the signal that you're sending into the compressor. If you turn it all the way down, then you won't hear any signal coming out of the compressor because you're not sending anything into it. And as you increase the input knob, you'll be sending more of the vocal signal into the compressor, which will result in more compression being made. All right, 
The next time when a nigga hit your line, you went gang gone. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. So you can see this meter over here is showing you the gain reduction because we have the meter set to GR, which is gain reduction. And as I cranked up that input, the amount of compression that was happening was increasing. This output knob controls the level of the signal leaving the compressor. If you decrease this all the way down, you won't hear anything leaving the compressor. And as you increase it, you'll be raising the volume. So you can see by adjusting this output knob, we're not changing the amount of gain reduction that's happening. We're just changing the overall volume that's leaving the compressor after the vocals have been compressed. The most important controls for this compressor are the attack, the release, and the ratio. These three controls determine how much compression you're going to get and how long that compression will hold and latch on to your vocal. The attack knob controls how fast the compression will engage. A value of one equals the slowest attack setting, and a value of seven equals the fastest attack setting. If you wanna let more of the transients through, then you want a slower attack. If your goal is to tame the transients quickly, then you want a faster attack. To demonstrate the attack, I'll start on the fastest setting, and then we'll slow it down to the slowest attack. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you went gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the so you can hear when the attack was set to the fastest setting of seven, that vocal was getting compressed quickly and heavily. Whereas when the attack was set to one, some of those initial transients were allowed to poke through a little bit before the compression engaged. This release knob controls how long the compression will last. The slowest release time is at a value of one, and the fastest release time is at a value of seven. Again, I'll demonstrate what the release knob does by starting at seven, which is the fastest release, and then going all the way down to one, which is the slowest release. So you can see when we have the release set to the fastest release setting, this needle is jumping around very quickly, which means that our vocal is being compressed quickly and then that compression is being released quickly as well. When I had the release set to one, you could see the meter shoot up to show compression, but then it was taking a long time to come back to zero. So that compressor was clamping down on our vocal and it wasn't releasing very quickly. Lastly, we have the ratio buttons. The ratio controls the amount of gain reduction that will happen when the signal crosses a certain threshold. Again, these settings are kind of counterintuitive to what you would normally think. As you move from top to bottom, you will get more compression. So a ratio of 20 is actually the least amount of compression that you'll have on your vocal. Whereas a ratio of four would be a very heavy uh, compression ratio. Another trick that you can do when using this Wave CLA 76 compressor, which I'll show you in another video, is you can use this for parallel compression by engaging this all button, which will result in very aggressive compression and a little bit of distortion also. For the task at hand, we'll leave the ratio at four. So again, as you move from top to bottom, you'll be getting more and more compression. I'll demonstrate that quickly. So when that all button is engaged, you can hear a little bit of distortion being generated. And the last thing I'll show you before we start tweaking these settings for our vocal compression are the meter options. So the GR is gain reduction. When that's highlighted, this needle will be showing you the amount of compression that's happening, the amount of gain reduction. When you have it set to N, this will be showing you the level that your audio is coming into the compressor at. And when you have it set to out, it will be showing you the level 
that your audio signal is leaving the compressor at. Lastly, when you have the comp off button engaged, you'll be bypassing all of the compression in the plugin, but you'll still get the color from the analog emulation of the hardware unit. Keep an eye on this LED here. If you see it light up red, then that means that your signal is too hot and you're gonna wanna reduce the gain. All right, now let's talk about the strategy behind using this compressor for the dynamic vocal compression task. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, our goal is to clamp down quickly on the peaks of our audio, but also we want the compressor to release the compression quickly as well so that we're not compressing the quieter parts of our vocal. So we'll basically want a faster attack and a faster release. And as far as gain reduction, I'm looking for this meter to hit anywhere between three to five at our loudest uh, peaks in the vocal performance. During our quieter sections of the vocal performance, I don't wanna see this meter move at all. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll adjust the attack and the release knobs, and then I'll adjust the input knob to get the amount of gain reduction I'm looking for. Put our little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. Bet the next time when a nigga hit your line, you win gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put our little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up pretty. So I settled at 6.88 which is almost the fastest release. As I'm listening to the vocal, I'm looking for this meter to clamp down and then release in between words. I don't want that meter to stay down here, and I also don't want it to take it too long to come back to zero. Now let's dial in our attack. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside, cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. Bet the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. Bet the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. So I set that to about 4.5. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the input knob until we see the amount of compression or gain reduction that we want, which is about three decibels, three to five decibels of gain reduction at the sharpest peaks in our audio. And I don't want to see the meter move when we're at the softer parts of the vocal performance. I may come back to this attack knob and readjust it after we get the input dialed in. Let's get on, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside because the gang gon' pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. Bet the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up pretty pennies to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. Bet the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up. All right, now I'll bypass the compressor on and off so you can hear what this first compressor is doing to our vocal. We'll start with a bypass. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up pretty Engage. To the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. Bet the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. So you can hear it's a subtle change. We're really just only attacking those sharp peaks in our vocal performance. Our goal was to tame those peaks and decrease the gap between the quiet and the loud parts of our vocal. And now our vocal sounds a little bit more even. And the next compressor that we're going to use is going to make our vocal sound even more smoother and give it that last bit of tightening that we need. You'll notice that the compression has lowered the volume of our vocal a little bit. If we wanted to raise the volume back up after the compression, we could increase this output knob. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gain input on the next compressor to make up for the volume that we lost. So the second compressor we'll use is the Waze CLA-2A compressor. And this compressor is much easier to use since it's basically only two controls. The attack and the ratio are predetermined. We basically have two controls. You have a gain, which determines the amount of signal that you're pushing into the compressor and you have a peak reduction knob, 
which determines the amount of gain reduction or compression that's happening. Again, for the second compressor, we're using it for tonal compression and just smoothing out the last bit of dynamics that we may have after our first compressor. With this compressor, we wanna catch every word and we wanna use some light compression in order to smooth out the final vocal performance. This compressor has a tube in it which gives it some analog warmth and gives your vocal a nice color. What we'll do with this compressor is we'll adjust the peak reduction until we're seeing about one to three decibels of uh, compression, and then we'll adjust our gain knob to taste to get the volume up or down to our liking. Again, I leave the analog on off. I don't wanna introduce any noise into our vocal, and we have our switch set to compress. Now let's go ahead and make the adjustments. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside, cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. So you can see I pushed the game too hard, and you could hear some distortion happen and this red light also became engaged. So what we need to do is back off our gain. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. All right, so I went up to our first compressor. I increased the attack a little bit to a setting of five. I wanted to hit those peaks just a little bit harder and I reduced our input a little bit. I saw this meter jumping a little bit during some of the softer parts of our vocal, so I backed off the input. All right, I'll bypass both of the compressors and then we'll engage just the CLA-76 and then I'll engage the CLA-2A behind it. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. So now you can hear that our vocal has a much more steady volume and there's not as much fluctuation between the loudest and the softest parts of the vocal performance. I'll bypass them both on and off one more time. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it at the end, we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull a pretty penis to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you and gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. So hopefully now you guys have a better idea of how you can use these two unique types of compressors in serial, one after the other, to tame the peaks initially and then smooth out and give your vocals some tone and color, resulting in a more even and warmer vocal performance. Keep in mind, I haven't added any reverb, uh, delays, or any of those other effects to sauce up the vocals yet. I'm just walking you through my first initial steps in attacking the vocals and cleaning up and attacking problems in the vocal. So one thing that I still need to do, which I haven't done yet, is uh, delete some of the dead space, you know, in the beginning, uh, at the end of the vocal. And then also in between here, I can hear some clicking and some pops, like right here. These are little clicks and pops that I want to take out and delete. Because after you add that compression, any of those sounds that you don't like or you don't want to be in the vocal, those are going to get boosted up and be very present in the mix. Check it out. Ain't gonna pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. 
So you definitely want to go in and clean up your audio signal and get rid of any unwanted noises that may exist. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial or if you learned something new, make sure you click that thumbs up button. And again, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notifications of future videos. If you're interested in purchasing these plugins, Waves has a really good uh, Black Friday sale going on right now. I'll leave a link in the description that'll take you to the website that shows all the specials and deals that they have going on. Lastly, if there's any other topics or certain plugins that you guys would like me to go over or review, feel free to drop a comment and let me know. Until next time, keep learning, keep creating, and keep grinding. I'm out. Put that little baby on fire. Risk it all, put the vibes online. Send it out and we playing outside. Cause the gang gon' pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up pretty panties to the side. Body rich back seat while we ride. But the next time when a nigga hit your line, you ain't gang gon' pull up.